Sunday, September 26th was exactly a year after Typhoon Katsana swamped the Filipino capital of Manila. On the first anniversary of the disaster, Tsuji established a new milestone in the hard-hit area of Marikina, opening a new educational recycling center. As well as a paper and plastic collection point, the facility includes a free medical clinic and a vegetable garden. Local volunteers from the Marikina area of Metro Manila are a highly motivated bunch. One year after Typhoon Katsana flooded their city on September 26, 2009, their community is stronger and more united than ever. It's a special day for us, so we have all come here to remember the people who helped us in the past. This is my best birthday present because it's my birthday tomorrow. I'm overjoyed because I feel happy I have a new face. I'm not afraid to meet people. Now everyone has a communal meeting place called Tsuji. At the official opening ceremony of the Tsuji Marikina Educational Recycling Center, local residents are center stage. Leonardo Ramboy, who had plastic surgery at a Tsuji free clinic, sings an English tune. And members of the dental assistant's training class perform a Chinese sign language song. I'm very happy to be standing here now. I've always wanted to meet Master Zheng Yan, and today I finally saved enough money to buy a plane ticket to fly to Taiwan. Now the Educational Recycling Center has been built. More Marikina residents, like Nanalita Alburo, will come into contact with Tsuji and take advantage of the medical clinic and vegetable garden attached to the center. We must stay away from meat. We should eat vegetarian to be fit and healthy. Master Chen Yan, I would like to thank you for this beautiful Marikina recycling facility that you have put up here in our city of Marikina and for the, all the help that you have done and given to the people of Marikina for the last one year. For our people to realize uh, the importance of life and uh, love and giving, sharing. This is the first time Marikina has had a recycling center. It represents all the blessings that the Tsuji Foundation has given Marikina, so I'm very happy. Everyone has been waiting for this moment. No longer victims of Typhoon Katsana, Marikina residents are entering into a new chapter of mutual help and support. In our last story, we saw Nanalita Alburo waving her bank book and saying she at last had enough money to buy a plane ticket to come to Taiwan to see Master Zheng Yan. Looking at her now, it's hard to believe the Marikina volunteer used to be passionate about politics. She would harangue anyone with an opposing view, making enemies along the way and straining relations with her family. But after taking Tsuji's volunteer training course, Nanalita realized she would have to give up politics and find a new focus for her life which she did, much to the amazement of her relatives. All of the politicians search me out, they rely on me. On my house-to-house -house campaigns, the neighbors listen to me and the candidates win. She is a strong campaigner, this tiny woman named Naririta. She has helped many candidates over the years, but her passion for politics has earned her enemies as well. When Nanalita was working in politics, we would often argue fiercely because we support different parties. 
both relatives and rivals. Neither of these two foresaw a day when they would be drawn together. Now she's not involved in any political activities. She's just a simple neighborhood worker. We get along great now. I loved politics, but after joining Tsuji, I have kept from getting involved. This was a spiritual transformation brought on by the floods of last year. Under dreary clouds, Nalirita makes her rounds, going from house to house to collect donations from her 120 Tsuji members. Though some cannot even donate three U.S. pennies a month, it is the thought that counts. The work has taken her far from the bickering noise of political campaigns and made her well liked by her neighbors. Nanalita is a very good person. She helps a lot of people in the community. If someone needs help, like some money, after a fire, they all go to find her. Before, Nanalita's purse carried political flyers. Now it carries money for charity. Nanilita has found a new goal in life. I see. I want to save money so I can go see Master Zheng Yan. She is old and so am I. I want to see her with my own eyes, so I'm saving money and I'm very happy about my start. Nanilita makes a living stripping down electrical wires at Quezon City's Ziji Recycling Station. Though she doesn't make much, she is finding ways to conserve and can save about 16 US dollars a month. As she sees the money accumulate, it's as if the gratitude Nalilita feels within is slowly working its way out for all the world to share.